Hey guys, welcome back to the Blues Lesson Series. In this video, we're looking at connecting our blues boxes. So I constructed a, a few licks that combine uh, neighboring boxes. So uh, we'll go over the licks that uh, you saw or heard at the beginning of the video. Um, so we're starting out with box one here, A minor pentatonic on the third string, seventh and fifth frets. We'll pull off, uh, bend in a pull off. And then right here we go seven to five on string four. Pull off, slide into box five at fret two. And then five and three on string five. And five and three on string six. Next one, starting in the same position, uh, seventh fret, we're going to use a little finger roll here with our third finger uh, to just pivot from the fourth string to the third string. So it's seven to seven on uh, strings four and three. So just kind of let that knuckle fall. Then I'm going to grab fret five on string three. That was five, seven, nine. box two here, another finger roll at the 10th fret on strings two and one. That was 10, 10, 10 on strings two, one, then two. Little hammer on pull off, eight, 10, eight. And eight to 10 on string two, so. connecting boxes one and two and then two to three we're starting on string four fret seven and I'm gonna go seven to ten there then a double hammer on seven eight nine on string three fret eight on string two and I slide into my third box there string, 8 on the 2nd string, 12 on the 3rd string, and then I go 12, 10, 12, string 3, 2, 3, 13 on 2, 12, 11, 10 on 1. Now all together. box three to box four, um, which is that uh, combined with boxes five and one. There's a very similar transition here. You'll see this happen a lot. But in any case, we'll show it box three to four. Uh, so I'm starting on frets 10 and 12 on string six, 10 and 12 on five, 10 and 12 on four, slide up into 14 on string four, 12 and 14 on string three, and 13, 14, 15 on string two, and fret 14 on string three. So all together that's four to five. We're starting with this little stretch here from 12 to 17 on string one. That's 
notes uh, 12, 17, 12, 15. And then 17, 13 on string two. 16, 13. 15 on two. 14, 12 on three. 17 on three. 17, 14 on four. Again, 12, 17, 12, 15, 12 on one, 17 on two, 13 on two, 16 on two, 13 on two, 15 on two, 14, 12 on three, 17 on three, 17, 14 on four. So all together, connect these boxes um, is just to give you some kind of material to work with uh, to see at least one connection between adjoining pairs and then be able to start spotting them uh, around the neck more quickly but I strongly encourage you to come up with some of these on your own that's a, a real um, easy way of getting yourself more acquainted with it even if you feel like oh I'm not you know um, I don't feel like I'm ready for that or I'm not familiar enough with the material just sitting down with two of those boxes and making up your own licks is going to um, is going to help you to see what you're doing on the neck immediately. It, you, you'll feel it set in very quickly. Um, so don't just use these or you know my licks or somebody else's and just memorize and memorize and memorize. Uh, experiment on your own, create on your own because it will definitely be um, one of the things you get much stronger results from. So, but in any case, you can use those licks, you can change the rhythms, play around with it. Um, you know, you can just take these and kind of reshape them. That's kind of the idea behind improvisation in the first place. You learn to play um, somebody else's solo or lick or whatever it may be, and then it kind of gets into your own musical DNA and your ear and you kind of shape it to whatever your cre creativity tells you to do. So. Anyways, have fun with that, guys. Let me know if you have questions. See you in the next video. Thanks.